Hey guys, Brick Queen here with a Lego Spider-Man set to share with you guys. So this one came out in 2019 and it is based on the Far From Home Spider-Man movie. I know we're getting ready to talk about the upcoming Spider-Man movie, No Way Home. But for right now, <laughs> this set is based on Far From Home. So it's like at this point we have a chance. We're just far from home. Next movie, No Way Home. <laughs> a little depressing from that point but anyway it is set number 76130 stark jet and the drone attack drone attack of course is these little little drones there's two of them and they do have little flick fires on each side so you can kind of fire them off like that pretty simple and there are two that are just alike like this and I'm going to set them kind of back here out of the way. Um, and of course, the drones belong to Mysterio. And that is our minifigure here. Which I have to say, the, the detail on the minifigure is really nice. And now there is no face. This is just a clear head uh, or a clear dome on top of a silver head. So no face for Mysterio, at least in this set. And then there's the back printing. Like I said, it is nice printing on uh, the figure front and back. Really looks nice. I do wish we had like a, a hidden face that was revealed or something, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Um, anyway, so like I said, this set came out in 2019 based on the, the last movie. And it has 504 pieces and uh, four minifigures. Only one of which I believe is unique to the set. And uh, that's who's flying the, the jet right now. I'll show you that in just a second. Um, but 504 pieces. And the original cost on this thing, it's overpriced. Let me tell you. i have to be totally honest and say that this set originally cost too much. Just no way around it. It was $70. Just too much for this set, really. 504 pieces, four minifigures. Just too much really but but it is still a cool set <laughs> um i am glad i have it uh i just wish that we didn't have to pay as much for it you know but i feel that way a lot about about a lot of lego sets i mean wouldn't we all like to pay less for stuff um but anyway um it is a cool jet and it is nice just to have the stark jet of course and so you can there's a couple of different spots that open up and this whole front part it almost seems like the front half um, opens up like this. So you can see a lot of the inside here, which I think is really nice. You do have the other three minifigures here. So this first one is Happy Hogan. And I'm going to set the jet down for a second so we can check out these minifigures. So Happy Hogan here. Um, that is, you know, Stark's buddy. Also the director of the movies <laughs> happens to be. Um, so it's nice to have him as a figure. I think he's exclusive to this set. Somebody tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think this is the only set you get him in. Or maybe it's just this version of him. Not sure on that. Um, then we also have Nick Fury, which is definitely not exclusive to this set. You can definitely get this minifigure other ways. Uh, but still, it is a nice minifigure. It's even got the little logo on uh, the jacket there, which is nice, and always nice uh, face printing with his eye mask. I do wish that they would um, continue it around the side of the head so that that was actually connected, but I get it. It's kind of like a front face part and then a back, so they don't really do the side of the head, but it would be, wouldn't it be nice if that, that was actually connected I mean, I know that's just a small thing, but it's just like one little black line. Just <laughs> almost want to take a Sharpie, but uh, just can't just can't bring myself to take a Sharpie to my figures. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, so those are those two mini figures. And then we also have Spider-Man back here. Wouldn't be a Spider-Man set without Spider-Man, right? And I'm going to leave him attached to this <laughs> for now. There is a reason for that. We'll get to that. Um, this is a nice version of Spider-Man. Um, I do really like the printing on him. Now, this is not exclusive, uh, just a, a nice printed version. I really like his suit in this particular one. So it's very nice, but not exclusive. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the only exclusive minifigure 
is Hogan, Happy Hogan in this set. Other than that, you can get the others in, I don't know, two or three other sets a piece. Um, so not too bad. And on the inside, you can also see some uh, some nice little panels here. Actually, Happy Hogan is kind of blocking a couple here. So let me take him out for a second. And you can see the nice little control panels up there. Now those are stickers. I almost have to say, of course, with that. <laughs> um, quite often, stuff like that is going to be stickers. But there's not too terribly many stickers in this set, from what I recall. Um, one that's nice is that this, <laughs> this whole uh, glass piece, this is printed. So you don't have to worry about putting the sticker on this, because that would be a nightmare. I would not want to put that sticker on. So glad that that is printed. Um, you do have a, a spot for the guns here, you know, Nick Fury's gun on one side and then Happy Hogan's on the other. And you have Spider-Man sitting in the back there for a reason, because right behind here, this is actually a button that releases the bottom part here. And <laughs> you can actually let Spider-Man kind of drop out of here. So you have two different options with this drop thing. You can have Spider-Man drop out of the bottom here, or if you don't want to do that, you can actually detach Spider-Man for a minute. Just detach him from that middle portion there. And just close this back up. And in the back here are some energy bombs kind of stored away. There's three of these. And if you want to drop these out, you kind of have to put them where Spider-Man was just sitting. Um, it is a little odd, I think, uh, that you can't just drop them out of this part, since that where they that's where they kind of store them at. You kind of have to move them if you want to drop them. So you can put those in there, and then that's your kind of other option. Then you can drop them out that way. I mean, it's an it's a nice feature, but it's also kind of an odd feature in my opinion. <laughs> um, I would have liked to have seen like a second drop part, uh, a drop portion in the back of the jet back here, um, under where they're actually stored. That would have been cool. But still, it's the Stark jet, and it is nice to have um, just a couple of things that you know I would change. Nothing major, I guess. <laughs> but overall, it is nice. Um, I think it's still a really cool set. You do have some stickers down the side, like this and this and Stark Industries on the back parts. But overall, it's a really nice clean white jet. And uh, it does have some nice little features here and there. Um, like I said, there's just a couple of little things that I would change, but uh, overall, I do really like the set. Like I said, it is at least the original price. Um, I will say was too much. The original price was overpriced. Um, but my guess, and I haven't looked this up because I've actually had this set for quite some time and I've just never reviewed it until now, which is, I know, kind of sad. But um, the set is cool and not for the original $70 price. That's too much. But um, my guess is you could probably get it for less than 70 now if you wanted to. I bet it doesn't cost that much on, on like maybe eBay or Bricklink or somewhere like that. Um, there's several different sites that you can get stuff like this on. Um, so on somewhere like that for less than 70, I'd say it's a great set and worth it. Um, you said 504 pieces. I would expect it to be like 50, but it was 70. Too much, too much, too much. Sorry, that is my main complaint about the set. It was too expensive, but it is a very cool set. So anyway, I digress. <laughs> let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. And also let me know if you are excited about the upcoming Spider-Man movie, which uh, I want to say is coming out Christmas this year. Is that right? No Way Home, I think is supposed to come out on Christmas. I think that's what I read. I know that they just recently, just a couple of days ago, <laughs> released kind of a teaser for it. Um, so I'm hoping that we're going to get like a full-blown trailer very soon. And then we'll know more about the movie. And I am super looking forward to it after hearing some of the casting decisions. But 
Anyway, that's like a whole other video. Let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time.